So in this Industry 4.0 conversation, private 5G networks have been the point of a lot of interest from large industrial and other types of enterprise companies. If we focus in on manufacturing vertical, I'm just kind of curious if you could take us through the benefits that they would see moving from wired to wireless networks in their facilities. Yeah, I mean, from my point of view, uh, the, what 5G brings is to replace the wire uh, with uh, wireless connectivity. So with, uh, once you go to wireless, that allows you to have massive get data connectivity. So with this massive connectivity, we can have real-time access to the data and analytics. So those data analytics is allowing us to have greater observability and then have a reliability and a more op operational efficiency. So if you do everything with wire in order to achieve the big data connectivity, uh, things will not be as scalable and it will be less efficient and then less flexible compared to the wireless connectivity. So that's what the 5G connectivity can bring into the wired uh, uh, replacement for the industry 4.0. And these industrial 5G networks, they're a little more demanding than the public networks that a consumer would use. I was hoping you could take us through some of the technologies that let these networks be more reliable and reduce the latency. I'm thinking specifically of uh, coordinated multipoint time sensitive networking and URC. Yes, yeah. As you said, uh, for traditional EMBB traffic, the delay uh, requirement and also the reliability requirement is much more relaxed compared to lots of industrial applications. So the, uh, the way 5G to tackle the industry ap uh, application is to introduce the spatial technique where we can achieve much reliability and low latency at the same time. So without typically in order to achieve ultra reliability, you have to pay the cost of latency uh, because you can do the retransmissions by using different frequency, different time, which add, certainly adds into the uh, delay budget. So by using the spatial technique, uh, allowing the coordinated multipoint transmission, so you are able to achieve the spatial diversity, where in case the one link is uh, uh, signal is degraded, we're able to get uh, the good quality of signal from the other link, which can still ensure the packet delivery on time. And that's where the ultra reliability and low latency is achieved by using 5G technique. And uh, the other techniques which 5G introduced is time sensitive network that allows multiple devices to be synchronized to the re common reference point so that they can achieve the a sub microsecond uh, time synchronization, and which is essen uh, essential for multiple industry applications where the devices can optimize and prioritize on this deterministic traffic delivery. So as we see the proliferation of these 5G networks in some markets where licensed spectrum is available, we've seen manufacturers use that. We've also seen uh, this shared spectrum approach, but I'm curious when we think of 5G private networks, what do you see as the role of unlicensed spectrum? Uh, yeah, exactly as you mentioned. Uh, so uh, in order to de deploy private network, everybody needs a spectrum. So there are places if you have a choice of using license spectrum, for example, getting the uh, operator assisted network, or there's a dedicated spectrum as in uh, quite a few countries, there's already dedicated spectrum for industrial IoT. For example, in Germany, there's uh, 100 megahertz available. But in lots of cases that you may not, uh, this, you may not have dedicated spectrum, or this uh, spectrum which is dedicated may not be sufficient for the private network deployment. And that's where this unlicensed technology offered by the 5G uh, will give you a great advantage because it unleashes tremendous amount of bandwidth for the private network deployment. And in addition, compared to uh, other uh, unlicensed technology, we do inherit the fundamental benefits of the 5G technologies, such as uh, we mentioned before, as ultra reliability and low latency, time sensitive network, and indoor precise position. Those will be inherited to the unlicensed operation as well. Yeah, so those are the benefits where uh, you can, we can use 5G to the unlicensed spectrum, and then you can have big amount of uh, bandwidth available. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to have this conversation with me and tell us how 5G will enable the factory of the future. Yeah, uh, thanks for your interest. Our demo videos are available for people to view, so please welcome to take a, a look. <laughs>